now available. Paperback and Kindle Unlimited. Isis, the main event. It's carnage inside of a steel cage when the goddess next door steps in the squared circle with the beast from the box of this action-packed all-new Isis series adventure. Get Isis, the main event. Paperback and Kindle Unlimited today. When I take a critical examination of your Donald Trump as a candidate, I see a candidate that is very easy to beat. And the big problem with his opponents on the left is they are too caught up in their emotions to see how easy it is to beat your Donald Trump because they are so caught up in their feelings regarding his rhetoric that they cannot think critically enough to develop a logical plan towards overcoming him or develop a platform of tangibles to offer the American people that will give them a reason to vote for their candidates. Now, when I take that critical examination of your Donald Trump, I see him no different than a Pookie or a Ray Ray in my neighborhood, or one of these bikers or bad boys that are a part of many white communities, and when it comes down to your Pookies and your Ray Rays, your bikers and your bad boys, oftentimes these guys try to play to a woman's emotions. And your Donald Trump knows that his population of the United States is primarily female. 51% of the United States is women. And over 50 to 60 percent of white women voted for Donald Trump in 2016 because he had those character traits that these women found to be attractive, such as being this so-called rebel and being this rich alpha male. So he had these character traits that women found to be appealing, and this was the core reason why he was able to best a Hillary Clinton in the 2016 election because he had the personality and character traits that were more appealing to women than another woman who they usually would wind up being jealous of. Now, the key to beating a Donald Trump is this. You cannot play his game. And the big problem with those on the left is they keep playing his game. Now, again, I said that when it comes down to these kind of guys, they play to people's emotions. And the big problem with those on the left is they keep getting emotional every time your Donald Trump makes a statement. They go out here and react to his statements, not understanding that every reaction you give a Donald Trump is, one, playing to his game, and two, giving him more power. It's similar to what happens when superheroes try to stop the Incredible Hulk. The matter Hulk gets, the stronger Hulk gets, and the more you attack Trump, the stronger Trump gets. Now, the key to beating a Donald Trump is to not be emotional. You have to understand the power of indifference. And indifference is how you beat a Donald Trump and how you beat a Pookie or a Ray Ray, a biker or a bad boy. Because the main reason why these guys are so appealing to women is because they manage to get them emotional. And they are getting emotional because of the attention that they believe that these guys are going to give them. So they are not looking for attention from the guy. What most women are looking for is attention from being with the guy. And your Donald Trump, being the president of the United States, gives these women the attention that they want. And what they want to do is see Americans going back and forth with each other and participating in the drama. That's what most American women want when they have Donald Trump as a president. They are addicted to the attention that your Donald Trump gets them as their president. They are addicted to the drama that he gets 
and sadly, your left news media adds fuel to that fire every day by covering your Donald Trump with this slanted media coverage, and every piece of slanted media coverage that they participate in adds more fuel to that fire. Moreover, people like your Adam Schiff's and your Nancy Pelosi's and your Chuck Schumer's add even more gasoline or jet fuel onto that fire in their efforts to try to one-up your Donald Trump or make efforts to do things like the failed impeachment initiative. None of these campaign plans ever work because the big problem with those on the left is that they are too caught up in their feelings regarding Donald Trump to think critically about a strategy that will allow them to achieve any sort of victory. And the reason why they can't think critically is because they are so caught up in their emotions from the polarizing rhetoric that he spews that they cannot sit down and really think critically about their response. Because the big, again, the problem with the left is they are reacting to a Donald Trump and not responding. And the way you respond is not with emotion. The way you respond is with indifference. Indifference is, means you have no feelings either which way regarding him. And when you become indifferent, you take your power away from a Donald Trump. And when you are indifferent, what happens is you are calm, you are cool, you are collected, you are secure in yourself, and you can stand there and resist this guy's ad hominem attacks, you can resist his rhetoric, you can resist his shaming tactics, because you are not feeling anything, and because you don't feel anything, you don't care about anything he says. And that's the big problem with those on the left, is they care about everything Donald Trump says, but an indifferent person does not care about anything a Donald Trump says because they are not interested in trying to beat a Donald Trump. No, they are interested in presenting their arguments, presenting their platform, and their solutions for helping the American people. And that is the big problem with those on the left, is they don't have anything to offer in terms of tangibles, and even though they were given four years to come up with a platform of counter-tangibles to offer the American people, they instead got caught up in their emotions regarding your Donald Trump besting your Hillary Clinton in 2016, when they should have been, if they were indifferent, sitting there and really thinking about what they have to offer as related to tangibles, what type of tangible policies they want to offer core demographics, and what do they want to do to win back those demographics. That's what an indifferent and objective critical thinker would be doing. Unfortunately, people got so caught up in their feelings about losing, they were not thinking critically about the way, the road to victory. Now, the road to victory is, again, as I see it, is through indifference, because when you are indifferent, you can look at a Donald Trump, a Pookie, a Ray Ray, a biker, a bad boy, and you don't really see them as someone you are concerned about. And when you are not concerned about them, that increases your value, and it increases the value of your platform. Because what the people on the left don't seem to understand is, by every attack they make on your Donald Trump, they decrease their value, and they decrease the value of their platform, especially when they bring nothing to the table that appeals to the American voter, which is primarily an American woman. And what you need to do is understand that your woman, again, it only sees value in those who want to give her attention. And if you pay her no attention, you increase your value. And that is what the power of indifference gives 
the smart critical thinking candidate the ability to increase their value, increase their worth, and increase their ability to get attention from the large population of female voters and even some of the male voters. Because when a man is indifferent, he is only focused on his goals and he is only focused on what he needs to do at the time. He is not getting into the other guy's face because he understands every time he gets into the other guy's face, he is giving the other guy power. And this is the big problem with many of these left candidates is they are giving your Donald Trump power because they are always trying to take shots at him, always trying to attack him. And again, when you attack a pookie or a Ray Ray, a biker or a bad boy, you make him appear to be more valuable than you are. And when you try to attack him, he then not only is appearing to be more powerful to the public, but then he can take your own words and use them against you. So when it comes down to these kind of guys, you always approach with indifference. But the big problem is those on the left keep trying to attack your Donald Trump by trying to appear to be more intelligent than he is. And this is the approach that many nice guys and nerds try to use. And when nice guys and nerds try to call themselves appearing to be smarter than the Pookie, smarter than the Ray Ray, smarter than the bad boy, smarter than the biker, they again decrease their value in the eyes of most of the women out here and many of the men because they are trying to appear to be this intelligence, believing that it has a value, but that doesn't have a value to those who are invested emotionally. This is the main reason why your Al Gore lost to your George W. Bush. Your Al Gore, yes, he was a better candidate on paper, but he was not anybody who engaged the American people or stimulated their emotions. And in order to win it, politics or any in the game of life, you have to be able to engage people emotionally. You have to be able to stimulate their emotions, get them excited for you. And when I look at many of these candidates, again, they try to play the smart game against the bad boy, just like the nice guy tries to play the smart game by trying to say that he's the better choice. But the big problem is he is coming from a position of weakness. And the position of weakness comes from him trying to prove to the woman that he is better. But again, when you're trying to sell yourself as the better choice to someone who is already attached to someone, you've already lowered your value. And that's why, again, the power of indifference is so important because the indifferent man isn't trying to try to persuade you and so insecure in their efforts to persuade you that they're constantly trying to convince you something is true like the nice guy does and like many on the left try to do with Donald Trump where they just keep trying to convince us oh he's a racist oh he's a bigot oh he's a jerk they're not trying to convince us no the indifferent person they are just going to step aside and let the chips fall. They understand that it is not their job to try to convince you because they understand it is their job to sell themselves. And they know that they don't sell themselves by trying to knock the other guy. They sell themselves by showing you their value. And that is what your Donald Trump primarily does is he shows his value by going after the other guy, and the other guy, because he's coming from that position of weakness, gets emotional and starts attacking him, playing his game. When the actual game you need to play is the game of indifference, and when he attacks you, you give him no response, and then present your arguments to what you're going to offer someone. That makes it where you cut off his 
emotions and his ability to stimulate emotions because when he sees that you are indifferent, what happens is he cannot go into his ad hominem attacks. Moreover, the people looking at him see his ad hominem attacks and see that he keeps getting personal, but you are remaining cool and calm and staying on the argument, but not in an intellectual way. You are going to approach him by saying, okay, this is what I have to offer. And again, when I look at your Democratic candidates, they always try to attack him with this intelligence, talking about their degrees, talking about the jobs that they have done, but never really talking to the American people. And that is the key to dealing with a Pookie or a Ray Ray or a biker or a bad boy, again, is indifference and not going to go after, attack them, but going out here and presenting yourself and having the confidence to stay unfazed by anything they say. Because the minute you get into it with these guys, they are going to try to grab the power position in the communication. They're going to try to grab the power position in the social situation. And they're going to want to escalate things to create this drama. And they believe that if they escalate things to create this drama, they can get the attention of people primarily by stimulating their emotions, polarizing them, and they and then when these people are polarized they are so caught up in the drama that they're not thinking critically but if you understand indifference you can turn that on that guy and get him so caught up in his emotions that you can watch himself destruct unfortunately we don't have any of these candidates on the left thinking critically on how to deal with a Donald Trump because they are so emotional and so caught up in their anger regarding him that they can't sit down and say, hey, we need to sit down and really think about this guy. And if you really think about your Donald Trump, he is one of the most easy to beat candidates out here since Michael Dukakis. Unfortunately, nobody really is thinking critically enough to develop a strategy to be able to beat your Donald Trump. And again, when you are in your emotions and you keep attacking the other guy, you're playing his game. And when you play his game, you're going to lose because he knows the board, he knows the rules. And when he knows all of the rules and the board, you're playing a game that is not on your terms, you're playing a game on his terms. And the key with indifference is when you are indifferent, he has to come over to your side of the table to play your game because he does not know the rules. And when you are indifferent, you are the one dictating the terms to him. So the more you are indifferent to a Pookie, a Ray Ray, a biker, or a bad boy, the more you get him to play your game. And the less attention you give the woman or the public, the more power you get because you are increasing your value overall because you are presenting yourself as the prize. And when you present yourself as the prize, the people have to come to you. But those on the left, they keep trying to offer you a prize and the prize has no value because they keep lowering its value by going and attacking your Donald Trump. Again, coming from that position of weakness. And when you come from a position of weakness, you lower the value of yourself the same way the nice guy does, the same way the beta male does. The beta male, what he will do when he sees a girl that he likes out here with a bad boy is he starts going and participating in these underhanded tactics like trying to one convince the girl that the other that he's the better choice or two going to her parents and trying to discredit this guy again lowering his value when in actuality if he showed indifference 
he would increase his value because he is not seeing the woman as the prize. He is seeing his goals as the prize. And when he sees his goal as the prize, he increases his value exponentially. And when he increases his value exponentially, then he will receive the attention from the people who are interested in him. And he will be able to go out here and achieve and accomplish what he wants to do because he understands that his value is not based on the other guy or beating the other guy. His value is based on God. His value is based on how he sees himself. And he sees himself as a valuable person. And because he sees himself as a valuable person, he is not going to get into it with a Pookie or a Ray Ray, a bad boy or a biker, because he understands that getting into it with those guys and trying to compete for their the attention of other people again lowers his value he increases his value by not getting into it with those guys and being indifferent and to himself because when you are an indifferent and to yourself people come to you and you can deal with them on your terms and you don't have to deal with them on their terms but the big problem with the left is they keep trying to deal with donald trump on their terms and on, on not on their terms but on his terms but you cannot deal with donald trump on his terms because if you deal with him on his terms you're going to lose and the big again your donald trump is easy to beat and his rhetoric is easy to beat unfortunately most people are approaching him thinking that he's this big time they, they're approaching him thinking he's this big time guy but in actuality he's not that big of a threat when you understand how weak he actually is and how his big mouth is not filled with nothing but hot air if you'd like to see me make more videos like this you can donate to my patreon my PayPal or my Cash App by clicking the links in the description box. And if you want to try some of my SJS Direct publications like the ISIS series, the E-Steam series, the John Hayes series, and the Spinsterella trilogy, you may do so by clicking the link to Amazon.com. That's all I have to say for this video. You can comment, rate, and subscribe. Now available in paperback and Kindle Unlimited, John Haynes, the man with nothing to lose. The man who rules the world runs into the irresistible force of a man with nothing to lose in this action-packed all-new John Haynes series adventure. Get the regular and variant editions of John Hayes from Man Born Dudes on Amazon.com today.